Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we will explain box and whisker plot dear scholars while explaining the measures of dispersion a box and whisker plot gives a graphical presentation of data using five measures the median the first quartile third quartile and the smallest and the largest values in the data set between the lower and upper inferences this call is a box and whisker plot can help us visualize the center, the spread and the skewness of a data set. It can also help us to detect outlier which makes our uh, uh, data uh, for not suitable for the average behavior of data set. We can also compare different distributions by making box and whisker plot for each of them. So for the further explanation about the box and whisker, let me give you the definition of box and whisker plot. A plot that shows the center, spread and skewness of a data set, it is constructed by drawing a box and two whiskers that use the median, the first quartile, the third quartile and the smallest and the largest values in the data set between the lower and upper inferences. For further understanding about the box and whisker plot, let me give you an empirical example. Here we have the data uh, that is containing the sample of 12 household and data is consisted of the income of 12 household in thousand dollars like we have the first household that's income is seventy five thousand dollars second household has income sixty nine thousand dollars so likewise our twelfth household has income ninety eight thousand dollars we have to construct box and whisker plot of these data set. So first uh, step for this data set we have to arrange the data in an increasing order to uh, calculate the values of median the first quartile and the third second or third quartile and the interquartile range of that data set. Here we have the arranged uh, data in an increasing order 69, 74 but here you can see that our data is not in arranged form. So for the median we have uh, the central uh, two values that is 84 and 90. We add 84 and 90 then divide by 2 and we have the median value that is 87. And for the uh, first quartile, we have to divide the data into two parts that uh, from uh, first six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And these are our central value that is 74, 5, and 79. By dividing two, we get the Q1. And for the Q3, we have here 98 and 104 divided by 2 and we have q3 is equal to 101 and for interquartile range we have q3 minus q1 that is 24 okay after that the second sub step will be start that is to find out the point are 1.5 multiply by a uh, interquartile range and that is 0.5 multiply by IQR and we get 36. For getting the load inferences we have Q1 minus 36. This is our uh, uh, in upper and lower inferences for, for getting the uh, uh, Low inferences we first have to find out a point that will decide the low inferences and upper inferences so for this purpose we can multiply our interquartile with 1.5 and we get 36 and we have the low inferences that is 77 minus 36 that is 41 
and for the upper inferences we have q3 plus 36 that q3 is 101 plus 36 and we get 137 that is our upper inferences step 3 determine the smallest and the largest value in the given data set uh, within two inferences these uh, two values for example we have our lower inferences smallest value within the two inferences that is 69 we have the 69 and uh, we have the highest value that is 112 that is 112 okay step 4 Step 4. In step 4, we can draw a horizontal line and mark the income levels in such that all the values in the given data set are covered. These, uh, this horizontal line draw a box with its left side at the position of the first quartile and the right side at the position of the third quartile. Inside that box, draw the vertical line at the position for the median. So we get like that. So here you can see that our first quartile is here at 77, and our third quartile is 101. It look like here 101, and from these two quartiles, we have the median value that is here look like 87 so we can uh, make this as a shaded area so by drawing uh, this graphical presentation presentation we can actually uh, solve the step 3 so move towards the step 5 step 5 by drawing the two lines join the points of the smallest and largest value the two inferences to the box these values we have 69 and uh, 112 in this particular example so uh, our step 3 the two lines that join the box to the, these two values are called the viscous and the values that fall outside the two inferences are uh, shown by marking an asterisk and it is called the outlier if we uh, draw the viscous plot it look like that so here we have the uh, first quantile third quantile and here we have the median and uh, here we have the smallest value in our data set that is somehow 69 that's that is 69 and uh, we put a steric here and that steric represents the uh, outliers in our data set whereas our highest value in that data set is 1112 so that is situated on this point 1112 that is 112 so our largest value within the two inferences is 1112 and lowest value is 69 so here one thing to note that about 50 percent of data falls within this box about 25 percent of values fall the left hand side and 25 percent values fall on the right hand side of this box also 50% uh, of values fall on the left side on the right side of the median and 50% uh, if you see the median value 50% values lies left side and 50% lies on the right side of this median the data of this example are secured to the right side because the lower 50 percent values are spread over small range uh, than the upper 50 percent of the values the observation that fall outside the two inferences that is 69 and 112 112 
uh, are called outliers. These outliers can be classified into two kinds of outliers, uh, somehow uh, wild and extreme outliers. Uh, to do so, we define two uh, uh, outer influences are uh, lower outer influences. Uh, for this, uh, we can uh, use the uh, uh, formula for uh, uh, IRQ like that we have highlighted here uh, 1.5. So for uh, lower inferences, we can use it uh, uh, 3, uh, 3.0 for the interquartile formula. And for the uh, for the higher uh, outliers, we can use 1.5. So, here uh, we have to note that an observation that is outside either uh, in uh, two inferences, uh, it is called the uh, outlier, either mild or uh, we can say that extreme outliers. So, for our example, the uh, outer inferences at uh, 5 and 170. Three in our uh, previous example, which we have highlighted, because one one four, one double four, one double four. That is one forty four. See here we have in a data set one double four. That is one hundred and forty four is uh, outside the upper inferences. See here outside the upper inferences. That is our upper inferences point, and that uh, one double four is situated at this point so it is a mild outlier so for a symmetric data set the line representing the median will be in the middle of the box and the spread of the values will be over almost the same range on both sides of the box so this is all about uh, uh, the last measure of dispersion that is box and whisker plot so see you with another video ciao